The Battle of Tippecanoe. The Battle of Tippecanoe was fought on November 7, 1811, near present-day Lafayette, Indiana, between United States forces led by Governor William Henry Harrison of the Indiana Territory and Native American warriors associated with the Shawnee leader Tecumseh and his brother Tenskwatawa, also known as the Prophet. They were leaders of a confederacy of Native Americans from various tribes that opposed U.S. expansion into Native territory. As tensions and violence increased, Governor Harrison marched with an army of about a thousand men to disperse the confederacy's headquarters at Prophetstown near the meeting of the Tippecanoe and Wabash Rivers. Tecumseh wasn't ready to oppose the United States by force and was away recruiting allies when Harrison's army arrived. Tenskatawa, a spiritual leader but not yet a military man, was in charge. Harrison camped near Prophetstown on November the 6th and arranged to meet with the Prophet the following day. Early the next morning, warriors from Prophetstown attacked Harrison's army. Although the outnumbered attackers took Harrison's army by surprise, Harrison and his men stood their ground for more than two hours. The natives were ultimately repulsed when their ammunition ran low. After the battle, the natives abandoned Prophetstown. Harrison's men burned the town and returned home. Having accomplished his goal of destroying Prophetstown, Harrison proclaimed that he had won a decisive victory. He acquired the name Tippecanoe, which was popularized in the song Tippecanoe and Tyler II during the election of 1840. Harrison was soon elected president. But some of Harrison's contemporaries, as well as some subsequent historians, raised doubts about whether the expedition had been much of a success. Although the defeat was a setback for Tecumseh's Confederacy, the natives soon rebuilt Prophetstown and frontier violence actually increased after the battle. Public opinion in the United States blamed the violence on British interference. This suspicion led to further deterioration of U.S. relations with Great Britain and served as a catalyst for the War of 1812, which began six months later. By the time the U.S. declared war on Great Britain, Tecumseh's Confederacy was ready to launch its war against the United States and embrace an alliance with the British.